What is up guys, Bob Guard here, playing some big mana landfall in modern. Waiting for my opponent. Need, a, need, need an opponent here. Oh, there we go. Hudson2620. Hopefully that's not the person I just played against. I just played against some Tron deck. I should also be more polite and say hi. Good luck. I haven't been doing that much recently. Um, this is pretty bad. I might keep it. It just it doesn't do anything, but I can any threat is very good with this hand, but I have no threats right now. I think I'm going to keep it and try it. This might be wrong. It's basically looking at seven lands. It's just... This is also a land combo deck, so seven lands isn't the worst thing. And I can just... I can set off this... I can sit on a fully powered heart for a while, and as long as I get a payoff for it, it'll be pretty pretty good, I think. I guess that's the reason I'm keeping, but it, it's a little sketchy. Okay, um, well, Raging Ravine at least is, it's not a payoff, but at least it's a land that does something. Search for tomorrow. What is he doing, I wonder? I mean, I see the colors and I think burn of some kind, but he's also not playing any burn spells right now. Colony Heart. All right. Might I'll probably grab red off the search. Lightning Helix. Okay, so he has burn. He's just must not have much one mana burn. Well, I really need to find a payoff. But if I find one payoff, I'm going to be in really good shape. I think. Let's see what I draw here. Hopefully I draw a payoff here, in fact. That would be ideal. Cast. Let's get, I don't know, red. Yep. And then I draw. Oh my god. Alright, well. I don't even think we're going towards anything quick, so I think I just Raging Ravine here. You'll probably just kill it, but that's fine. I'm going to have so many charges on these hearts. I mean, basically, I can set up the hearts whenever I want to. Well, keep a land heavy hand and get punished, basically, which is it's not too surprising, right? Always yes. Always yes. Always yield. Pass turn. Four mana. Still five cards in hand. Just passes. Not even burning me. Interesting. And I top deck a search for tomorrow. All right. Um. And I could activate this and swing. It might be worth it. I'm sure he just kills it. I think that's fine though. I'm assuming he either paths it or bolts it. One of the two. Go to combat. Oh, he doesn't. Maybe he does now. No, he lets it go. He gets it for four. All right. Oh, he goes face. All right. Skull crack. Sure. Oof, this is rough. This is a rough draw. Um, I think I might break this one because it lowers my chance of seeing lands, and two because powers up this. I'm gonna have enough triggers already, and that way, if I draw one of my big drops, I can play it right away because I'm. I think I'm gonna need to. And it's not really super ideal to do this, but I don't know what else to do. Come on, big money, big money. Well, it's not the worst. Oh shoot. I guess I should have gotten a red. And now I can't also attack with that. This is too important to play. I mean, there's no way to do this. Well, maybe. If I, what if I break this? Destroy doesn't really matter. Use that to get red. 
think that actually does work. Get red. Okay. Actually, is this five or is this four? Oh, okay. so cancel. I need to play land. Okay. Swing for five. Nothing. Got it. Dragon Master Outcast. Pass turn. So, I mean, he might just burn me out this turn, right? He needs to do... Might even be likely that he burns me out this turn. At least I do have a little bit of sideboarding against him. Oh, no, he kills the, he kills the Outcast instead. I mean, I'm okay with that. Saves me three damage, and I'm getting in for six a turn or whatever. He scoops the game. Oh, uh, I mean, I wasn't getting much. And, oh, oh, three down. Would have taken a while. Um, Dragon Claw comes in. He didn't show me very much other than burn spells. Dragon Claw seems like the obvious choice. Like, that's the best thing here. What comes out? Dungo Velder feels good because it's a huge threat that he can't deal with. These died a bolt, which makes them slightly worse, but I don't think they're worth taking out. He didn't show me a lot of targets for Lightning Bolt, but it is the kind of deck that feels like it would run targets for Lightning Bolt. It was a little slow, but I'm going to be a little slow too. Let's take out an Omnath at the top. <gasps> <coughs> he just has too much removal that hits Dragon Master Outcast, so I think Omnath from the top, Dragon Master Outcast from the bottom. And this one's a little rough, but I think it's keepable. Um, I also think I need to get red with Evolving Wilds, which sucks. I mean, as long as I can get to three mana and start pumping out uh, Dungroves, I don't feel that bad. Okay, probably just either Bolt or Suspend Rift Bolt or Lava Spike. Lava Spike, sure. Man, three drops. Need. Okay. Need one more land. Wait, turn off auto yield. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank God. Thank God I managed to do that. Uh, I could play Cinder Glade. It doesn't actually matter. I guess I'll play Forest and Pass. Oh, he only has one land. Mm, that's not good for him. What would I play next turn? Probably Dungrove Elder. I don't know. Definitely don't play Tireless Tracker yet. He's just going to murder that, I think. Lightning Helix, sure. All right, well, that makes uh, Tireless Tracker better next turn, I think. But I think i got to get the Dungrove Elders out to start the beats. So let me go... Forest, Dungrove Elder, pass turn. I mean, he might just kill me in time. I'm already at 10, so I think that's likely, but I'm going to play like he's not going to. Um, yeah, in this turn, I can play Tireless Tractor. Next turn, I might play Ramanap Excavator just to keep the lands coming, I can imagine. Okay, swing for three. Goes to 16, I have Bolt up. I'm assuming he runs zero creatures, so I'm starting to think I should just point Bolt at face. Oh, four more to my face. Might just have enough burn to kill me. Lava Spike's face. It's not gonna take that much to kill me here. Bolt at face. Top decking a forest would be pretty nice here. One, two, three. Then cultivate. Get forest, forest. Still don't think it's going to be enough, right? I'm going to be just short. Five, five, so I do eight here. I could do nine here, but it's better to do five, 
five, six, seven, eight. Take him to five. Presumably he has some burn spell here. Like in four cards, it would be unlikely that he wouldn't. He did one more life, probably would have won. GG, was close. All right, um, didn't draw my sideboard, unfortunately. I think this is the right way to run it. It was pretty close. Pretty hard deck for me to beat. Maybe even too much top end still. Maybe I'll get, go down one of this, go up one of this, submit again. Don't think any of these are particularly good against him. I mean, the lightning bolts I could take out, but they didn't seem that bad there. Uh, he skips the match. All right, we got it. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.